I grew up in a house knowing right from wrong, knowing what I should do. In doing those things, I began to get around a group of people who weren't raised the same as I was raised. I went from living a Christian life to saying I was living a Christian life, but not really living it. I got recruited to the number one football school in the nation at that time, Florida State University. Um, and when we got to campus, um, people knew who we were before we even got there. My thought process was that this is going to be the time of my life. Um, I'm going to be able to um, live my life how I want to. And I did that for my freshman summer, you know, partied, messed around with girls, um, and just did what I wanted to do. And um, there came a moment when I was uh, actually um, working out in the weight room, and um, a teammate of mine who I had yet met walked up to some guys who were talking about what they'd done last night and who they'd done it with. And he said, hey, what if your mother heard you saying those things? You know, you could use better language than that. And I kept doing what I was, you know, doing, working out. But I, I took a mental note. And some kind of way we had a conversation about church. And he offered me, um, offered to pick me up for church on Sunday. And I said, yeah, sure, I'll go. He was a guy who was not using foul language. He opened the doors for ladies, you know, and there was something totally different about his life. Um, and when I saw it, I said, that's what I'm supposed to be like. That's what a, a real Christian looks like as a man my age, at the age of 17. And that guy became my best friend. His name is Michael Bowler, um, strong man of God to this day. I had another teammate in the NFL, so um, I got to Cleveland, a, a guy named Jason Wright. He was a godly man, strong man. And um, we became very good friends. And again, God put that man there for me to help encourage me and to help me um, walk out my faith. I only played for almost two years where I thought I would play for maybe 15 or, um, you know, more. And I thought I would be a Hall of Famer, right, or uh, a Pro Bowler. Those were all my goals, but God had a different plan for me. Does knowing Christ or being in Christ equal success? It does. Does it equal my meaning of success or what I think should happen? No, it does not always. Um, but I know that ultimately, if I have Christ, then I have salvation. I have eternal life. So everything else, therefore, is extra. I have peace. I have joy. God gives me um, those things in the midst of everything I go through. If I turn to him, he provides that for me. My name is Paul Irons, and he changed my life.